How we doing today guys? Sam and Rich here with this week's fish report for you guys. So Rich, I know you've been out there a little bit. You, you were even dabbling with some sea bass in the bay, which is kind of a new fishery to a lot of people. Yeah, so why don't you go yeah. over that a little bit? So we spent some time out of the water doing some videos with Lenny, so definitely we'll keep an eye out for those when they come out soon. Um, but we were out catching some striped bass, doing some jigging. So fish are still out there. There's lots of fish. There's, they're definitely schooled up, um, chasing a lot of birds when we were out, which is a lot of fun. A um, lot of mixtures and sizes of fish. So there's a lot of small fish out there, but they, we've caught plenty of keeper size fish. We've caught some that were pushing 30 inches. So um, definitely want to have all the right gear out on the boat. We were jigging for them mostly, even on those fish that were on top, um, kind of letting that jig get into the school a little bit, try to get some of those bigger fish. Um, stick with lighter, lighter weight heads, you know, don't go too heavy, half ounce, three quarter at the absolute most, three quarter I'm using if I want to kind of cast into the school before we get to them, not so we don't push them down. Uh, but if we're getting pretty close to them or if they start boiling right next to the boat, go down to like a quarter ounce head. You don't want anything too, too heavy, it's gonna sink too fast. Um, six, seven inch plastics would do fine. Um, Z-Mans, Bustin' Baits, BKDs, whatever, whatever, uh, of your choice paddle tails will work too definitely want to have some of those on the boat and then metal jigs i like throwing the metal yeah. jigs into them not necessarily for the toothy fish we're not really seeing any bluefish i think they mostly moved out but i like having those toothy uh, the uh, metal jigs because they, they they sail through the air really well yeah i um, mean they got a lot of nice flutter to them and i don't have to keep re-rigging plastic which is kind of nice so aside from that um the sea bass that are mixed in there are a lot of fun too and that's kind of cool yeah. to see we've never really seen they're kind of mixed together i know you guys caught them yeah so in the same area. a lot of the places that you're fishing for these stripers if you drop down underneath and go to the bottom you're picking off other stuff and, yeah. and sea bass isn't something that we usually target because we don't get a lot of keeper size fish and most people just don't know they're down there because mm -hmm. if we're bottom fishing in the bay we're typically perch fishing yeah and when we're out in the middle of the bay we're typically not perch fishing there but that's where a lot of the sea bass are so um get yourself some metal jigs we were using some of these rain minnows for from uh, GI jigs. Um, th these colors work great. Uh, white, chartreuse, any of those colors would do fine. And then of course your golds, your silvers. Um, there's some other metals on the market that work really well. Nice and hydrodynamic, get them down to the bottom. Tip them with some uh, squid. That'll help entice the bite. And then we were doing some dropper rigs with you know, some teaser flies and stuff. We've got all that stuff here at the store. We can help you guys get rigged up. So you don't have to jig for these rockfish though. The trolling is still a thing you can do, whether you want to run umbrella rigs, tandem rigs, or great this time of the year as well. You can cover some different depths. Um, be prepared to add a little bit of weight to them this time of the year. We're starting to see those fish in the bottom part of the water column a lot more. So. Yeah. Your typical colors though, but blue has been uh, for some reason the most popular color here yeah. over the last week. So if you don't have that, stop on by and check out some of the blue stuff. Um, as far as locations go for rockfish, you guys were a little bit further south, I believe. Yep, we were pretty far south. Um, you, the bridge has been doing well. And then some of the larger fish we've been hearing up above the bridge. Yeah. So uh, Towards the mouths of those rivers. I know um, some people at the mouth of the Patapsco had some fish up to 32 mm -hmm. inches the other day. So there are big fish, both north of the bridge and south of the bridge. Um, but one of my favorite things to do this time of the year is the big perch. They, they, oh, yeah. they gather up in pretty big schools out in anywhere from 15 to 30 feet of water this time of the year. And when you're looking for the bigger ones, some of my favorite kinds of lures are metal jigs like you'd be using for the rockfish or the... Um, the sea bass i really like this tsunami jig though because it comes with one nice single inline hook which is great for those fish you're not tearing up their mouths and also you don't need to have a bunch of hooks in there yeah and um my favorite thing you all know i'm going to bring it out is the pickerel fishing it is getting really really good i know the severn has been phenomenal to start out this year um eddie weber's been out there catching them pretty consistently but the magazine it's this is the same time of the year all these rivers kind of start going at the same time some of my favorite things this time of the year are going to be weedless presentations for them because we still have a little bit of grass in the river systems that hasn't all died away so whether you want to go with an inline spinner here those are a great option or if you want to just stick with the paddle tail some of these z-man eye jigs with the weedless bend are great this time of the year so you don't have to worry about snagging up as much as far as areas to target get in your creeks and just start casting shorelines it's really not the most scientific thing um i know from this from what i've heard lately i believe it's more towards the weather because we've had such bad weather uh the ends of piers have been doing a little bit better i think they're kind of pushing off of that bank a little bit so aside from that what else is going on snakehead fishing has not been all that great but we've actually been getting some more reports lately so mm -hmm. hopefully with this weather changing we're going to start seeing some more action on those we actually had a customer bringing a decent sized fish today um so definitely want to have the snakehead gear get it get out there and give it a try if you haven't been yeah especially in the evenings when that day has had time to warm up that water throughout the whole day um stick to a little bit more slow moving presentations maybe take the paddle tail off your chatterbait and just fish the paddle tail um we want we don't want to move anything too fast those fish are kind of lethargic so i think that'll about wrap it up we thank you guys for stopping by and good luck to you out there have fun